Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're brand new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Tropical Plant Adventures. And I do gotta tell you, I had such a plantastic day of shopping today. We actually just got back from visiting Eldon's Tropical in Ocala, Florida. And oh my goodness, I have so many plantastic fabulous plants that I want to show you and I'm gonna do that in my next video but I gotta tell you I was so excited to come home and find this right here plant mail plant mail plant mail plant mail And this is coming from Steve's Leaves. Now you guys know I am a big, big fan of Steve's Leaves. There has not been a time yet where I have not been completely and over the moon satisfied with what I received from them. So I'm super, super, super excited about this package right here. I kid you not when I tell you I've tried three times, three different times trying to get these plants right here. They absolutely sell out so quick. And there's one that I am especially thrilled about. I mean, I dream about this plant. Whether I'm sleeping or awake, I'm telling you, this plant is on my mind. So you can imagine how thrilled I was to get this. When I first got the message from Steve's Leaves, oh my goodness, I made a mad dash to the computer. And it was the race of my life trying to get all of the information in there that I needed so that I could go ahead and check out as fast as I can possibly do it so that I can ensure that these indeed would be mine and I gotta tell you I was so nervous I really think I would have literally cried if I didn't get these plants I know you guys know how it feels when you're on a search and on a hunt for something and you just cannot get your grubby plant loving hands on them I mean it's a heartbreak guys I was practically having an anxiety attack my heart was beating so fast and so hard and then when I finally realized that it went through and everything was good it was a party it was a celebration <laughs> I was so doggone happy oh yeah, yeah okay so with that being said let's go ahead and open this up because I'm so excited guys let's go ahead and open this baby up shall we oh yes we most definitely shall here we go here we go here we go now and of course, we have the instruction guide to what we should do whenever we first get these brand new plants. And of course, I have my invoice for my plants in here as well. And we are seeing them all wrapped up. We have this packing paper here. And these are my two beloved plants. Oh my goodness. And here we go, here we go, here we go now. <sighs> Oh yeah, yeah! Look at here, guys. Here we go. This is the baby. So cute. Okay, and let's go ahead and open this one up. This is the one. This is the one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I've been searching for this plant forever. He oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, how pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh my goodness. And as you guys know, this comes wrapped in plastic paper. So we're gonna go ahead and release them. We're gonna set them free to enjoy the fresh air, shall we? And there we go. They wrap this up too well. There you go. All right. And then within the pot, we're going to find wet paper in here to keep the plant moist and to also keep the soil within the pot as well. And then we're going to go ahead and open this one up also. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible, but I'm so excited about these ones. And both of these just sell out so quickly and you can't find this in my location. So, I mean, just beyond thrilled. And here goes that wet paper in here. There you go. A little 
bit of soil spilling out, but that's okay. That's because I took the wet paper out. And here we go, guys. And both of these come with their tags. They will have their tags in here, so you'll know exactly what they are. And let's get a closer look at these. Aren't they so adorb, guys? Totally adorb. Happy dance, guys. Happy dance, guys. My celebration dance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, so the very first plant that we are going to take a look at, this is the Tradescantia. And in specific, this is the Mandula variegata tricolor. And pardon me if you guys are hearing rain, I'm underneath this umbrella right here. And yes, it is starting to sprinkle out here, but you know what? This rain can't even rain on my parade. I am so freaking happy right now. So anyways, but again, this is a plant that is similar to the Wandering Jew variety in which it cascades and it just trails downwards. But what I do love the most about this particular variety is the fact that it is tricolor. It has that very nice green intermingled with that white, so you're seeing that nice striation in there. But within the actual stem area and also the leaves, you're seeing some blushing of that very nice pinkish purple in there. So you're going to get that throughout the plant and it really just creates a beautiful view of this entire plant giving it a nice colorful dimension and I do love it so much and one of the amazing things about this plant is the fact that it is very 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 easy to propagate and it grows so fast and you can get so many plants out of one so it is a gift that keeps on giving if you will and once you have it you should never have to get another if you take care of it of course so yes this is going to be beautiful in a nice hanging basket and I cannot wait till it gets full and I cannot wait to propagate it and make it an even fuller pot. And this one, I do got to say, is a very healthy plant. It has so many cuttings or stems in here. So we are going to get a full pot and rather quickly at that. So again, very, very happy with this one. So, so beautiful, quite adorable. And believe it or not, this is pretty hard to find in my area. I cannot even believe it, but it is. This particular variety, the tricolor, is almost impossible to find. So thank you, Steve's Lees, for this. Thank you for this beautiful, healthy plant. And this one right here, guys, this one right here. I am smiling from ear to ear at this one because this is the one, guys. This is the one for me okay I have been searching all of my life for this one right here I can't tell you how hard it is to get a hold of this one in my area and I mean I really am confused about that because this is such an aggressive grower this grows so fast and so easy in my area I'm not quite sure why it's so difficult to get a hold of this one but it is I am so ecstatic to finally have this beautiful one right here and I gotta tell you I'm excited about this one because I did get a potophyllum a syngonium from Steve's Lees before and it grew so unbelievably I mean there's been a growth explosion on that plant and I'll make sure I show you guys because it is unbelievable guys so I am expecting the same thing from this one because it is so healthy and one thing that I do love the most oh my goodness are you seeing the gorgeous variegation in this right here it's so unbelievable at how beautiful those variegations are oh, takes my breath away guys and it is quite a full pot and take a look I don't know if you can see it all of those stems in here I mean I'm counting four or five growth points on this it's so amazing guys I love it so much. Those variegations, oh my goodness. I cannot believe how strong these variegations are on each and every last one of the leaves. 
I mean, there is not a single leaf in here without extreme variegation. It is absolutely amazing. Such a healthy, healthy, and beautiful plant right here. Oh, I'm just so happy with this. One of my faves from Steve's Leaves thus far. Again, this is the Podophyllum, the Syngonium. This is the variegata, the variegated variety. So beautiful are the markings on this. And this indeed is so aggressive. Again, I can expect great big things for this one. And I'm actually going to stake these ones up the way that I did with my other Podophyllum that I did get from Steve's Leaves. And this is gonna get huge, guys. Mark my words, it's gonna get huge. I'm gonna be doing an update soon on this one, and you guys are not gonna believe how aggressive this will have grown. I'm telling you guys. And there you have it, folks. That is yet another unboxing from Steve's Leaves, and I am yet another satisfied customer yet again and again and again. I have not been unsatisfied yet. Everything that you have given me has absolutely been gorgeous and I love them all. And of course, you guys, if you want to check them out, definitely do so. And you can check them out at www.stevesleaves.com. But of course, as I have forewarned you in the past, they sell out like this. Snap, snap, snap. Sold out. Okay, so you definitely have to jump on it if you want to get some gorgeous and very healthy and beautiful plants. If you have ordered from other companies and you've been absolutely satisfied with the products and the plants that you've received, make sure you go ahead and give them a shout out below. I mean, post them in the comments so that we know exactly what companies are great to order from. We would really appreciate it. I know I would. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Tropical Plant Adventures. And I will see you guys later and I'll also grow with you guys later as well. On my my next adventure. Bye-bye!